Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's up, baby? My God, look at those legs. How far do those legs go up? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Does this look like we're living in the medieval times? What kind of savage are you? Well, technically, we are living in the medieval times, and yes, I am a savage. Oh. Well, in that case, my legs go pretty, pretty far up. For me to kick you in the paw in the nuts! Oh! What's going on, everyone? Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at it again with another spawn review. This time we have Valkyrie. Uh, now, some of you guys, um, uh, well, a few of you guys uh, asked me, pressed me about the question if I ever reviewed Valkyrie. And the answer to that was no, because I'm reviewing her now. Uh, so this is from the Dark Ages. I'll read up a story on Valkyrie in a minute. Um, it's gonna take me. It's gonna take me a couple of minutes to get her out of her package, but that's with any ladies, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know. Um, so she looks pretty awesome, and she does have a. Uh, of course, this is McFarland, so there is a variant of her in blue. I'm sure there's another variant of her that I don't know about. That's what McFarland does. That's what he used to do. That's what he still does. You know, pops out two, three variants of his. Uh, spawn figures and uh, I really like this one the best I thought she looked really really good um, the face sculpt looks really awesome she kind of looks like an elf but she doesn't have the elf ears so let's do a read up on her first um, and then um, I'm gonna break her out the package then I'm gonna break out some other spawn figures do a comparison with this Valkyrie this is from the Viking Age uh, series 22 so, here is a little read-up, guys, and if you don't want to hear my read, my horrible reading skills, look, <laughs> I have horrible talking skills, so if you guys don't want to hear my horrible reading skills, you can always fast-forward through this if you don't want to know the story of Valkyrie. All right, so here we go. Brace yourselves. Valkyrie, this heavenly creature is a winged goddess of comp. I knew she was a fucking wing. I knew she had wings, dude. Isn't Don't she have wings? I'm not pretty sure. I said this in my toy my toy haul uh, that she has wings, so I don't know if she does or not. I don't. It doesn't look like it, but okay, never mind. Okay, goddess of combat and flight. She witnessed the blood pact between Jovac and Skull Jovac Skull Splitter and the evil god Loki. Hmm. Whoa. Wait a minute. Going into the Marvel universe. Well, technically, it is Thor, and then there's, what is it, Zeus, and then Valkyrie, um, psh, Loki. They're all part of the Middle Ages, Middle Ages, Middle Ages, uh, Dark Ages uh, timeline from that period. So, yeah, uh, there's a lot of, there have been a lot of toy companies that have adapted Zeus and Thor and, and all that shit. Okay, back to the story. Still watched, and when Eric Bloodaxe was struck down by Skull Splitter, Valkyrie followed him down to the realm of the dead. There, while Bloodaxe froze and developed, oh, excuse me, that froze and devolved and prayed for guidance, she appeared to him and spoke of an escape route, a route never successfully navigated in all of history. Did Valkyrie send Blood Axe down the path to the second horrifying death, or will he survive the journey between worlds? All right, so what I'm probably going to do is I think I only have one other figure. Actually, I have two other figures, the Troll and I have Blood Axe, which I'll break out, do some comparisons. These other figures I don't have, I'll probably pick up... Um, <laughs> some some point in time in my life. So with that being said, it's going to take me a minute to get her out of package. So we're just going to go ahead and fast forward to that. And let's get her undressed. I mean, out of package. 
Welcome to the casting couch. Your name? My name is Valkyrie, and I love the color red. All right, guys, so it was a pain in the butt trying to take her out, man. Uh, yeah, it was much harder than I anticipated. She was packed in there, dude. They don't pack figures in there like they used to, man, and that's kind of a good thing. <laughs> that's really kind of a good thing. All right, so before we take a look at this Valkyrie figure, let's stand her over there. Let's go ahead and take a look at this pamphlet, this book in which she came with. Here's McFarlane advertising uh, some of his other figures. I do like this uh, Amanushu, Amanusha, Amanusha to Samurai's Destiny. I, I like these figures. I did see some of these figures up close and personal, and they do look pretty awesome. So I might pick up those figures. Tortured Souls, you guys know I don't really have any other than the giant size ones. Movie Maniacs, you know, I have a few of them. Um, and then there's the Collector's Club. And that's pretty much it. Okay. So let's take a close look at this Valkyrie. She does come with these two axe, axes, I guess. Axe, swords, spear, spear weapons. And look how they shimmer too. Uh, jagged, uh, giant size bat signals. Very nice, guys. I love the gold look to them. Very shiny. Got has the uh, metal flaking on it. Oh, it looks like. <laughs> look at that. Just caught it. It should peg in like so and create one giant spear. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'm so stupid. Okay, so we'll put that in her hand in a minute. Let's take a look at Valkyrie because that's what you guys came for. You need to come uh, here to look. Uh, at this video of me playing with myself <laughs> maybe well maybe some of you did <laughs> wink wink okay so man she is pretty articulated for a spawn figure and she does her joints are very i don't want to say loose but very loose we'll just say loose so I can go a million ways with that joke but I think I've already said enough dirty jokes so uh, Valkyrie head uh, does move up and down. Of course, you got to be careful. She has that weird, awkward up and down thing. It's not on a ball joint, but it can turn. She's got a long neck. What was your mother, a giraffe? So her arms move up and down. Man, she, she feels very fragile. But that's with every woman, right? Am I right, guys? Uh, arms can extend out that much. Look at look at all the breaks that she has in her torso, dude. One at the waist, one at the chest. Can she even turn? Yeah, she can. Look at that, dude. Holy crap. It's like when uh, the assistant goes into the box and the guy tries to saw the box. And that's what happened when the stunt went terribly wrong. Um, hey, hey, hey. Sorry. Her legs... She's got some good movement in her legs, man. Look at that. <laughs> Talk about loose. <laughs> you whore. Okay, and then she has the knee bend right there. This is one thing I loved about McFarlane figures, dude, is one of the reasons why they still hold up today is not only the great paint apps, not only the great detail, but they did such an amazing job. McFarlane did such an amazing job at really putting no pins or hiding the pins very, very well on his figures. I mean, even though they are statues, they still have the brakes and you don't see those big, annoying, gigantic pins. And see, the pin is very well hidden within her uh, her leg armor. There's Valkyrie with... <laughs> given them, every, every spawn figure has a big fucking boot, man. There's the cape, very well, nicely detailed cape. It's a rubber, leather, not a rubber, well, not a leather, but more of a rubberized cape. A very flimsy, and it gives a date on here. Todd McFarlane, Product Productions, uh, 2002. So she's from 2002. Shall we see what's up the skirt? Hello, oh no! Her booty is not well detailed. Love the red hair. I love how they did, well, actually, I don't know if I can say that. She has the plastic, or the, yeah, the plastic uh, hair sculpt down here. She has the rubber 
uh, pigtail, and then she has the real pony tail hair in the back. So that's pretty unique, dude. And they matched up very well, somewhat. All right, let's get her holding this weapon. Let's see how she looks holding this weapon. And Valkyrie will go very nicely with my other female figures of Spawn. Let's see how well we can get her into holes. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen, dude. It ain't, it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that looks good. Nice, guys. Overall, a very, very nice Valkyrie figure. Okay, let's break out some spawn figures and let's do some comparisons. All right, so here are the other two figures from this, I guess, wave or series, series 22, that I've already reviewed already. Here is Troll. I saw them break out this guy to do a comparison, but he is a part of the series, so he's a nice figure overall. Nicely detailed, very unique looking guy. This wolf dead wolf never stays on him i wish they would have given him somehow be able to put this and hang it over him to where it stays on him but the wolf never stays on his head but overall a very nicely detailed troll figure my very first ever troll figure ever um well that's not true if you if you count those trolls with the weird hair the naked trolls um, <clears throat> and then here is Blood Axe, one of my favorite, favorite figures in my entire collection. Spawn, re Spawn regardless, doesn't matter. He's one of my favorites, one of the best, probably one of the best Spawn figures ever made. Blood Axe right here, the Blood Axe. Here's how the Blood Axe measures up with Valkyrie. And if you wonder why Blood Axe sounds familiar, because he was in the story of Valkyrie, which I read at the beginning, if you guys didn't hear me read then congratulations. I'm, I'm glad I didn't cause you any suffering if you fast forward through that. So there is Blood Axe, Valkyrie. Awesome, guys. Awesome. She go, she'll she go very, very well in my, uh, in my uh, Dark Age uh, medieval spawn collection. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put her... Well, actually, you know what? Let me rate her. Let me measure her, and then I'll put her with the, the ladies of Spawn, because I don't feel like moving all those freaking ladies of Spawn over here to my review station, so she's going to go in with those ladies anyway, so I might as well just put her with the ladies, and then I'll show you what she looks like uh, displayed with the ladies of Spawn. Man, that's a mouthful, dude. Okay, so Valkyrie stands at about six and five-eighths. Shit. Six and five eighths tall, guys. Okay, on a scale of one to ten, with ten being the highest, I really like her detail. Articulation is really good. Um, I can actually call her an action figure. She's not a statue compared to a lot of other spawn figures. Oh, yeah, she does have the brakes here at the upper legs as well. I forgot to show you that. Oh, no, I broke her leg. So, a very, very nice figure, dude. Um, do I recommend her? If you like medieval stuff, if you like Dark Ages stuff, if you like this kind of stuff coming from Spawn, then yeah, I definitely recommend her. Uh, awesome, awesome figure. And look at that. They actually did paint her fingernails. That's awesome. I didn't think they had nail polish back in the day, but they do. <laughs> they painted her fingernails pink, dude. <laughs> uh, and obviously they had eyeliner too. Eyeliner and mascara and makeup. So who knew? All right. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, I'm going to be a little generous, and I'll give her a 7, guys. It's not even a solid 7. I do like her. I'm glad to have her in my collection. Um, I do like the overall detail. I like this cross on her chest. I didn't show you guys the close-up detail of her. She has a lot of amazing detail on her. The helmet, the chest, the loincloth, the armor, the boots, the armored... The armor for the arms, <laughs> the armor for the arms, the cape, the hair. She's very, very nice. Yeah, I give her a seven. All right, guys, so if you like this little review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's put her with the, uh, with the ladies of Spawn. Okay, so here she is with the rest of the ladies of Spawn right here. She fits, she fits in nicely, dude. Um, 
the reason why I don't have her with the medieval figures, I'm thinking of putting her with the medieval figures, but I'm just kind of running out of room. So that's why I've made a shelf for the ladies so I can free up a little bit more room on my spawn shelf. But these are all the ladies of spawn. If you guys want to see any reviews of these figures, I've done individual reviews of them. So that's how she looks, man. She goes very, very nicely. And uh, yeah, I like her. All right, guys. I just want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out.